Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. 
We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. It impacts with the force of the... Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. 
I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. She's not a vagrant. She's on pilgrimage. It's a tradition in which... Look, you can take your traditions and cram them. Every time a Quarian shows up here, it's trouble. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with c -Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. My first instinct was to help you, but I don't like your attitude. I don't like the company you keep. Hey, both of you, calm down. Cortan, I know you're upset, but that's no excuse to insult everyone around you. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks. He'll be glad to hear that. Not a problem. Have a good day. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well, the Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Good luck, Leah Bael. Thanks. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, 
I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil, or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. And we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councilor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Termina systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well... That went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. And going behind my back does nothing to help our position on the Council. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along, or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other Councillors I'm on board. Better hurry. Fickle bunch. Quick to forget their friends. Goodbye, Shepard. I hope you'll go back to the Terminus systems soon. It would be better for all concerned. What an ass. 
As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the Collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this, or even that they exist. How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself.
Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on the Olive? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me 
And you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Never mind, then. Enjoy the party. Private rooms? We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. Hmm. If we could tap into the guards' communications, I could probably use this information. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. There's got to be a way to get in there. Let's look around. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. You see that? You can't be back here. Take him down. <laughs> I have an idea. See what you can find. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. Look, I already called in once. This is getting old fast. Just try it again. Fine. Chief Rowe, Samuels again. These guests are back in. They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. No hair. No skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. It's clean. It's a plant. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Careful. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. One sec. 
That should take care of the barrier. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Verusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Creepy. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. That's a Casa Locust. No, THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming. Go! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! Up ahead! Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now!
take heavier weapons than that to blow those things. Cloaking! That got it. Don't let them out of them. Allow me to show you the hard way. Look left. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Let's tear that thing apart. Even if you escape, I'll scour the galaxy for you. Uh. Up ahead. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so... so sorry. Keiji... I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi... Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. 
I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs>